Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our daily dose of Success God's Way on this Friday, January 10th. This is the view from our room here in Ochos Rios. This big ship came in today. It's pretty stinking awesome, right? So, hey, it's Erin Harrigan, your Hustle with Heart and Health coach, helping entrepreneurs align results to God's truth and helping everyone attain results for total health with Arbon. By the way, um, if you haven't seen it, there's some really exciting things happening with Arbon um, that I shared over on my Arbon business page. So please feel free to head over there. But today I want to talk to you about what happens when flesh fails us. And I don't mean through sickness or um, our health failing. I mean when we just physically feel that we cannot go on in our own strength. You know, maybe we've been doing all of that sewing that we talked about earlier this week and we're feeling discouraged or people are telling us no and we know that Jesus says to love them anyway, but we just don't feel like we can keep going. And unlike a job where we feel we have to keep going because somebody else is paying us, as an entrepreneur, like we are the boss. We're the one that has to motivate ourselves and keep ourselves going. Except that as God-centered entrepreneurs, we have the best um, weapon in our arsenal, and that is the Lord. If you saw the, um, the, the verse that I shared this morning, Psalm 70, 76, 26, I think it was, um, I'll post it below as always. But the point is this, that he is our strength. He is our portion, which means when we just don't feel like we can go on, we've had enough of the entrepreneur world we lean into him and say, Lord, this is what you've called me to. Show me what you want me to do next. Give me the strength. Let me lean into your strength to take the next right action to keep going. There is zero success story out there of anyone that has reached um, a high level of their company, um, you know, recognition on major stages, whatever it is, however we worldly measure um, success. There is no one who escaped abuse or um, terrible situations or what have you without continuing to push on. But they did not, if they were God-centered, they did not push on in their own strength. They leaned into his. And so I wanna ask you, when you feel like you're getting to the end of that human rope, when, when your flesh is failing you, are you leaning into him? Are you giving it over to him? Are you stopping in your tracks at that moment and saying, Lord, this is yours. This is the journey that you've given me. This is, this is the ministry that you've called me to. This is the business that you've given me to reach people, um, to impact your kingdom. I need your strength to do this. I cannot do this on my own. You guys, there is no shame in not just being on your knees for that prayer, but being face down on your floor for that and crying out to him. I know that's exactly where I was in April 2018, crying out to him. I cannot do this without you. I will not do this without you. Show me what you want me to do next. And graciously, graciously he did. And that's what he wants us to do. He wants us leaning into him um, and, and acknowledging that he is our portion. None of all that we're pursuing um, means more than him. As um, an author that I love, Lisa Whittle says, Jesus over everything. So I would love to hear if that resonates with you. Get down below, let me know. Get on over to our Success God's Way community. If you have not been over there, it is a community of like-minded entrepreneurs who are building businesses that honor him and serve his people. It's where we have our weekly dose live every week, which I'll be doing Monday night. Um, and it's where we want to lift you up in prayer. And by the way, tell me what topics you want me to cover in the podcast this, this year. Um, because I have a list of topics, but I want to hear from you how I can best serve you and bring you value in the topics that you want us to pray over. And if there's something specific in your business that you want us to pray over, post it over there because it is a mighty community. Um, it is a growing community. We love, love, love to pray for you. So with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. I'll be back on Monday. Um, and as always, 
looking for an ally or a coach to walk alongside you to help you get discipline around this this pursuit of success God's way I'd love to chat with you about hustle with heart coaching and then of course if mental clarity and energy is important to you which guys it simply is as entrepreneurs I'd love to chat with you about um, Arbon 30 clean eating as well so have a fantastic weekend and I will see you guys on Monday see ya